Amazon has updated its whole list interface. Now you can list your product with just a click. Sounds very interesting, right? So it means you don't need to give any title, bullet point, or any other fields. It will automatically redirect it. Now, what is this update and how can you actually input this update and what all about this I'm gonna talk about. This is from Ecom Clips and uh, let's get drive in. So right now I'm in the seller center. So let's go to here and click on catalog, add products. So from here, we're gonna add the product. So you see the enter uh, pages change here here and you can see that uh, there is keywords which means I think the if you even write with uh, search with the catalog for example the title description or any keywords for example if I check terms here and you see from here you can actually list your project so I'm not going to talk about this that much here and uh, okay this one you can see you can actually I think you already know it you can give EN UPC or any other uh, as in or fields and you can submit it and this way you can actually list your product which is actually earlier we also did it with um, uh, earlier this option also there so this one is interesting web URL so generate an Amazon listing based on your uh, existing product web page so this is this is gonna be really interesting I'm gonna try this one and show you how actually it works so here you can see you can give the URL and there is a line other retailer URLs not recommended so you shouldn't give any other web URL only the URL that actually you own and there is a message it is saying that um okay so you should be the owner you should have the license so you should you should actually read down this so to understand what actually it is so you need to give the url here and then this actually will uh like input all the information from the url that you give uh so let let's try for example if i copy this url here and then go back and then paste it here and submit so what it will do it will uh, automatically okay so it creates the draft here okay so it's saying me to wait for 15 minutes so i need to wait for 15 minutes and then i can actually review it if uh, it listed or not uh, the good thing is i actually already uh, applied uh, this one if i can show you okay this one okay review and submit i already applied this one actually a bit earlier and so to check if it works or not so let me show you how what actually it need to be done okay it's coming okay here so okay uh you see there is the title i don't I didn't need to input the title and this the brand name it automatically takes but the problem here is actually the title is not well optimized you can see it automatically takes all the title that i i have on my uh, on my website so it's good to see that amazon is taking uh, the information from the website let me see okay that uh, it didn't take the product id all attribute click here and i want to see okay these fields are uh, not enabled i cannot see these fields i only see the title uh, and the category, I need to select the category here, the item type keyword, the, if this has a variation, brand name. So these two fields I need to still input and then I need to click on next to actually submit a pro, uh, submit um, uh, listing. The problem here is uh, I don't see what's the description, I don't see what's the product details, details and stuff like that. So let me see one thing. Uh, so this electronics and then let's say i don't have a product id just to check okay now i click i can click on next okay here the description comes i'm just checking actually how it actually works okay there all the description comes from the website which is good all the bullet points from the description uh, or from the website that's also cool images okay i need to input the images manually product details okay so some of the information like uh, the quantity is uh, given one i need to update it obviously uh, okay so this this i think is gonna be really interesting let me check if the prices is giving no no quantity no uh, no prices i need to input this manually so almost you can say i need to input almost everything 
everything just the title bullet point and description these three things are gonna be like coming from the website automatically but the good thing is okay fine it is coming from the website in, and maybe i i'm hoping that it is still in the better version uh in the starting uh version and i think uh in in near future there are gonna be much more improvement to it uh, which i believe uh, they should come up with but the problem here is you can see they're actually taking the title from from website they're taking the description from website uh but these are actually the title and description for uh website so the seo is made for website the, these are not properly optimized for your amazon so on your amazon you need to actually do proper keyword research you need to check your what your competitors are doing what are the main information that you should keep so many things you need to do so the um, seo is not okay uh the description part in the uh, here also you need to actually work on your seo so i would suggest to obviously uh, don't do it right now because there are still this is still in the beta version. So what you can do, you can uh, for a quick overview or for a quick uh, testing purpose, you can do. Or if you think you um, you just need to uh, list your project quickly without any SEO or stuff like that, I don't suggest it. But still, if you think that okay, you need to uh, quickly uh, list your project, then actually you can. Um, apply this one and try this one but you still you need to input so many other fields and information which um, is obviously that you need to do now uh, let me check other thing let's go to the go to the page once again okay so I think you only got the idea how actually you can actually list your project uh, from here from this object uh, so I, I really like the object that Amazon is trying with something new uh, Amazon is trying to make things easier for the customers I like this idea but still there are a lot more things to improve uh, but I, which I believe obviously will be improved uh, in the near near future and uh, so these three fields I think you already get the idea let's see what the blank form is so with the blank form I think it's gonna be the same uh, like you need to input everything from the blank from the scratch yeah it is so you need to actually do everything from from the scratch so you, here you can see generating generally string content so actually there is an ai of amazon which helps you to write your content uh, i already made a video on it earlier you can check out our check out the i button or you check out the earlier videos however let's move back i think you already know what it is now let's check the last one okay Okay, this one bulk template. So with bulk template, I think it is it is it is going to be similar with the flat file. For example, if you click here, you can see yeah, it's going to be the same like flat file. So here it is updated, meaning there are some changes on it, which is good. You can go and check out what's the new update, uh, stuff like that. So I think it's pretty much clear what actually uh, the update is. Is uh, almost the same thing like 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 the previous one only change if i say it's the web url now you can list your product with just web url but there is still flows that i already discussed and i hope this will be uh, more improved uh, in near future so i hope you enjoyed this video and you already get the idea i would suggest you to give a try check what's the new change and uh, if it comes um to any benefit to you uh, if it if it helps you in any way just uh, let me know in the comment box um so that's all for today thanks for tuning in we'll see you in the next one goodbye